Welcome back, YouTubers, to another WWE vlog in HD with me, Daniel Parkin, and this guy sitting next to me, NJ. What's up? What's up, NJ? And what's up to you guys out there? Today, we're going to be doing a video on why we think Cena should remain face going into WrestleMania 28 against The Rock, of course, in that big money drawing match. Uh, but before we go into this video, make sure you subscribe up above if you want to see more videos from us. Like the video if you like what we're saying, and comment down below your thoughts on what we're saying in this video or the topic itself. Um, also, make sure to catch, catch us on Skype. We love talking to you guys about wrestling. My Skype is Daniel.Parkin01, and NJ's is NJ1988. Also, don't forget to add us on Twitter. We regularly tweet about WWE. My Twitter is Daniel underscore Parkin, and NJ's is NJ17. NJ, I will never, ever, ever forget your Twitter. Good, Daniel, forget yours. Nice one. But let's also remind these guys about our Facebook page where we update our videos and update stages. You can also chat to us about WWE on there. Our Facebook page will be in the description box below. And also, make sure you guys. Uh, follow NJ's blog on Blogger, I think it is, and that will also be in the description box below. And also, we have a little reaction video which we want you to check out um, before you watch this video on why jo uh, <laughs> NJ and NJ's reaction to John Cena. Yeah, I'm not really a fan, so you should check it out first. To be honest, he does go very over the top in that video, and which may mean he may go a little bit over the top in this video. So parental advisory is is advised, of course. Um, so basically, one of the reasons why we're doing this video is because we had a discuss discussion with Off The Rope Show earlier. What was this discussion about, NJ? Basically, we talk about what happens between now and WrestleMania and who's going to be the heel, who's going to be the face. Yeah. And we're basically saying that all, uh, Cena's better stay as a face. Yeah, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to send this video out and Off The Rope Show are going to respond to us why Cena should remain heel going into WrestleMania. Um, I think we should just get on with this damn video, don't you? That's it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so the first problem we would have uh, in turning Cena heel, and why we would probably keep him face, uh, is the fact that turning heel would be a huge risk for the business itself. I mean, you have there the face of the company, uh, the guy who, you know... WWE is, live on at the minute. Exactly, and the guy who's the most appealing to what, they, what, seemingly, what is seemingly their increasing demographic, which is women and children. True. You know, and it just doesn't help, it just would not help their business at all. Because to be honest... We all know that John Cena's there to entertain kids and um, show some kind of things for the older people, but it's mainly for the kids from his how his images. Yeah, uh, let's yeah. not forget his merchandise as well. The, one of the reasons WWE are doing so well um, in the in the business moment is because children and people are buying his merchandise, and that's yeah. that's what's helping their business at the moment. That's one of so, the things that's prospering them. So if he was to turn heel, I think to be honest, it will damage. His character to make people not want to buy his yeah. merchandise, so that will go. The money will go, boom. and also it, it loses the people who he, who he, you know, stands for, which is the kids. And kids aren't going to like him. No, because to be honest, kids at a young age, they they want the, the superhero <laughs> to win matches, do good things. Yeah, yeah, and with him as a face, a heel, yeah, yeah he's not gonna. Be doing all this stuff that kids want to see, but in the opposite. Yeah. And so, as a face, he's satisfying what the company are essentially going to be going into and what they built upon in the last couple of years, which is the PG era, which has been built around what they've been saying is a 40% kids and children demographic. Um, and so, you know, so you've got this whole thing here that they're going into entertainment. They've said that they've had this whole thing about changing their name to Worldwide Entertainment or just WWE, getting rid of the whole wrestling thing. And so, you know, and th therefore, Seamus Seamus image will probably be needed there. Like, yeah. Who else is going to, who else is going to, fulfill that role, the, the, the whole face of the company role. I mean, I can't see Orton doing it. No, because to be honest, seeing that it is all about entertainment with all his yeah. crap in raps, his crap images, crap jokes. Rapping. Yeah, there's that rubbish that he does. Yeah, and to be honest, with him as a heel, to be honest, he could still do them, but the kids would not want to listen or they wouldn't cheer him on when he's doing yeah. it. So I mean, the thing is for me is Cena as a heel would probably benefit the hardcore fans, uh, the hardcore WWE fans, because they know that Cena needs a character change, they know that he's getting a bit stale and it just doesn't work for them anymore. But like we said previously, it's just not... Um, you know, it's not going right for, here anymore. It's not. It's not going for the, the, the what they want to build on. And if WWE are going to build on something, they should go ahead and build on the future rather than dwelling into the past. Because to be honest, and also, as we go into more of a, we're in the PG era now. Oh, PG we really era. can't see Cena with a weapon. 
He's more of a, you know, fighting, do entertaining moves to entertain kids. I mean, that's the reason why he's face. I mean, he's got all that stuff about him, and he's also got the presence about him that he can win a match. I mean, that's why John Morrison isn't being promoted as a top fair baby face, because he can't kick ass, but we can see Cena doing that in a legitimate way, which isn't going to, say, upset children, for example. No. Hmm? Cena flipping kicking ass, yeah. We see a lot of that, don't we? And as a hill, if he does come a hill... Vince is going to make him lose matches, which, to be honest, we can't see Cena losing matches. We've seen him winning. So I think, to be honest, that's another reason why they're going to keep him as a face, so he can continue winning matches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but, I mean, the thing is, we acknowledge that he does need a bit of a character change. His character and gimmick has gotten very stale, and that's the reason why a lot of people don't cheer for him anymore. But will a heel turn, uh, what, you know, what we want to say is, does a heel turn actually accomplish that, or does it just... You know, ruin what they're going to be potentially going into in the entertainment business, in the entertainment industry rather than the wrestling industry. With, with Cena, it will damage it if he changes. Because to be honest, Cena's image has grown from when he first started to now as a nice guy, and yeah, in in this era, he's, he's done everything PG wise. I mean, the thing is, outside of wrestling, everyone says that he is a great guy. He does things to charity. It's just people don't agree with his character. And if he was, I'm not saying this in a bad way, but if he was to start doing um, hill things, to be honest, when he goes out there in the wide world and start doing good things, maybe people won't want to approach it, which would be quite damaging for him, because obviously he likes all this attention that he's getting. To be honest, he's a big guy anyway. <laughs> He'd probably kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'd probably beat him back up because you hate him so much. Oh, flipping well. Oh, all right, calm down, Andrew, calm down. But what about... Um, you know, talked about the, how it's going to affect the merchandise and the kids, and you know all them all them aspects of the WWE's future business. But what about the actual, you know, go at the match itself? I mean, will Cena, will Cena be the Cena will be the face? We believe Cena will be the face going into uh, the Rock Cena match. Yes. The perfect. thing for me is at the moment when you hear Rock getting pops and Cena getting booed, you know, Cena is going to get booed because he, uh, you know, he's not appealing to the hardcore fans, and Rock is, and that is what, and you know, they don't need to turn him heel. All they need to do is get him facing the rock and he'll immediately and they can both become face but they'll still boo heel uh, they still boo Cena anyway so yeah because I'm not saying people don't love Cena but they love Cena because he's a face and I'm thinking if they change it they might still love him but not as much rock we've seen both sides of rock but to be honest Cena's only got really one side I think it's rock can play rock can play a heel as well I mean we saw him be a heel in his late tenure in WWE I believe that's true. Um, and he, he did it pretty well, I mean. And that goes back to what he said at the beginning. If they did, if WWE thought it was a good idea to do that to Cena, to be honest, I really can't see Cena pulling it off. The way he's been since he started is just not showing any signs of heel. And to be honest, in their build-up, you know, who is more likely to become heel? I mean, you've got Rock, you've got Cena who's going out there for the fans every week, and then you've got Rock who's going to come back, probably screw Cena out of a match yeah, just to, to say his presence uh, in the rivalry. And, you know, who's more likely to be heel? And, you know, will it go over with the crowd if Cena has turned heel? Or will it go over more with the crowd if Rock's heel? Do you know, it kind of works both ways. I still think they'll both be face, to be honest. I think if anyone was to go face as a heel, as we said, it'd be Rock. Sure. Okay, then. Um, do you have anything more you want to say about I'm that? just trying to keep calm about Cena because, to be honest, as we said in our introduction, there's a lot of bad things I could say about Cena, but I'm keeping cool so you don't have to see that side of me. But, to be honest, coming to this match at WrestleMania, we've still got a whole year, so I'm sure my hatred of Cena will grow and my respect will stay the same. Just saying that now. <laughs> okay, but, I mean, the whole focus here is on him and Rock. You know, they have, a, they have a big match at WrestleMania. We've seen before that Rock can play a good heel. So will that mean, I mean, obviously, I think if the thing is for me, if, C, if they're going to put Cena over against The Rock, they might as well keep him face. Because if he's going to do that, he will be become, he, although he is the face of the company at the moment, he'll establish himself more as a face of the company. But if he faces him as a heel, what's the, what's that really going to do? Establish him as the biggest heel in WWE in a year since being the top face. To be honest, that, talk about the WrestleMania match. If we have seen as a heel by that time and him win, we want WrestleMania main event to go up in a bang, you know, real good. So to be honest, to make Cena win as a face, he's going to get the crowd going cheering yeah. and happy. But when he's a heel, they'll get booze. And how's that going to look good for WrestleMania? Do you know what I see happening? I see Cena beating Rock and then Rock 
shaking Cena's hand or something like that. Some sort of mutual respect and him just saying, you know, there's your moment. Yeah, because I think uh, when they do that, they'll shake hands. Cena will shake hands because the character he is. He's a good guy and Rock's a good guy, so they'll shake hands and say, well done, good match. Yeah, perfect end to WrestleMania. It will, it would be, yeah. But I mean, the point, the, the thing that uh, you know that I want to make is that I just, I just can't see Cena being heel. I mean, it just doesn't. You know, some guys I can see as being a heel. Like you've seen people like Triple H can be face and heel. Like Bear is a heel. Randy Orton we've seen is a face, but is a better heel. Yeah. Yeah. Jericho used to be a face, but is a better heel. John Cena as a face. I just can't see him as anyone. I really can't. And to be honest, there's something we said, I was saying to Dan before this video, if Cena was to come a heel, I seriously still would not like him. Well, to be honest, we, we all know your feelings on John Cena, so you don't need to express them anymore. Let's just stay calm. To. Let's just stay calm and finish this video off. NJ, um, do you have anything else you want to say? I think we've pretty much covered most of our points. Yes, we've said pretty much everything about that jackass. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add to the video? Not during the video, but afterwards, yeah. Okay, then. Okay. Um, well, I'm guessing that, that'll be it for our video, then. We've made all the points we want to make, and we look forward to... Uh, Cena staying as a base. And Off The Rope Show's response. Let's not forget that, too. Yeah, um, good luck, guys. <laughs> Anyway, we'll end, we'll end the video there, and um, also make sure you uh, get your questions in for our Q&A, which we will do next uh, next week at some point, or this week, if you're, because we're going to release this video on Monday. Um, so yeah, that has pretty much been it from us, unless there's any other announcements you want to make about Cena sucking. I'm going to stay calm. <laughs> All right then. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, make sure you check out Off The Road Show's uh, response to our video as well, which we'll put in the description box below, of course. Um, that has been it from us really, um, thank you very much for watching and appreciating our views on this whole thing, and we'll just go goodbye.